Hi, and welcome to the show. This week I'm taking a look at a battery bank, one of these backup power units. It is claimed to be 50,000 milliamp hours in capacity and a 2.1 amp and a 1 amp 5 volt output. Um, I seriously doubt that, but let's take a look. And I uh, intentionally want this one to pull down and use for future projects. I'll talk about that as well. All right, if we quickly just have a look at the uh, unit, quick look around. This is a Doshin USB backup power universal. Comes with a nice little LCD display in there. When that display is active, that's showing the uh, power uh, available. So it's 80% charged at the moment. And if you plug in an external device, I'll show you in a moment, you actually see that it's uh, producing 2.1 amp power out of the 2.1 amp socket. And one amp power out of the one amp socket and there you have a micro USB uh, one amp five volt input for charging. And as it says on the back, capacity 50,000 milliamp hours, uh, five volt one amp input and a combined five volt one amp output with a five volt 2.1 amp output. Okay, so going straight back to the claims. I'm guessing that the 50,000 milliamp hours is just not realistic, um, but we'll have a look at that in a bit more detail. But the charging, the one amp and the one, uh, 2.1 amp outputs, no. Uh, the other thing interesting to note, the micro USB, if you plug in the micro USB, it turns off everything else. So you can't charge and provide power at the same time. All right, so the unit comes just like this and comes with a USB cable, fairly handy. Uh, so it's a USB standard type A on one end and then you get all of the usual attachments, micro, mini, USB, um, iPhone lightning and the old 30 pin connector. So that's a fairly nice say, a silicon kind of material, not a bad addition. And then the Dushin device itself, uh, press and hold the button, gives you a display shows you the percentage as well as very quickly the uh, 5 volt and 2.1 amp and 1 amp ports. We'll just do that again. So hold the power off and power on. Yep, it quickly fades out. Okay, so let's power up this and see what we can get out of it. Alright, so I've got the unit here. I'll just hold that button down and power that one up. And I've got an old um, uh, camera. And what I will do is I'll plug in the USB directly. So there's the display. And as I plug the camera into the one amp port, you can see down the bottom there, um, just right at the bottom, one amp, five volts lights up. And obviously when I disconnect from that, the backlighting on. Actually it's better with the backlight off. And you can see that that's now gone out. Plug it into the 2.1 amp outlet and as you can see that it's now showing 5 volts 2.1 amps output and 80% battery remaining. Okay so that's the display and that's basically the way it works. What I really want to find out is what the output is. Okay got everything set up here. The power bank, big DC motor, um, hook this up in uh, in series in order to be able to test the current going through and now I'll connect the USB cable and see what we get. That is connected at the moment and I'm getting 0.3 of an amp draw and that is out of the one amp supply so I've put a drain on that. I can get it up to 1.1 amps that's pretty good. Um, how long it would sustain that for, I can't tell you, but we'll try. 2.1 amp output now. Does not like it. Power the unit on.
shuts down. So the 2.1 amp socket, this one here, you can see the little 2.1 amps there. That little 2.1 amp socket won't power much at all. So that is probably why it wouldn't power the 2.1 amp device that I had plugged into it before because it is actually not capable of putting out that much power. All right, well, I've just tested that with a couple of different motors and a few other things swapping between the two ports. Um, I can get it to power on, but if I hit it, go straight to 0.7 amp draw and the unit shuts off, can't even get it to turn on in the 2.1 amp slot. So, as I kind of suspected, the claims on this are not exactly accurate. But what I really want it for, uh, even if it's the 50,000 milliamp hours or the 50 amp hours is exaggerated, which I seriously suspect it is, um, if it's around about a six or an eight amp hour battery and there are five volt outputs and I compare the two five volt outputs together to get say two and a half amps on average, uh, and I have a charging port in there, then I have myself a reasonably cheap, somewhere between six and eight amp hour battery for portable devices with a couple of spare USB ports added in. So next step, break this one down, take a look inside. I get the added advantage of the LCD screen to tell me the charge rate of the device or the remaining power. And in portable devices, knowing what remaining power you've got, even if it's a percentage, it's fantastic. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so we're almost in. A fair bit of brute force required. And we are in. So what we've got by the look of it is a small integrated board, the little LED torch just there in the corner, a uh, little integrated board there and a battery pack. And these look like 18650s or very close to it. And see if we can go in a bit further. All right, so if you can just see down in there, and I'll keep going anyway, but if you can just see down in there, looks like we're talking about um, a power distribution and USB board, and then a small display board just in the back there, which is of course this display and button. All right, so there's the little push button dome switch. Yeah, we powered on. Power off. Small display board, and these are sandwiched together. All right, so there is the LCD module. Okay, so this little driver board here there isn't a whole heap on the back. There's this single package here which has absolutely nothing written on it. And I dare say that is what's driving the little LCD. So on the other side of the board, you've got a couple of packages here and here. They're both the same, no, 9206. I'll get the full number and put it in the description of the video. Uh, it's a very, very small one here and then nothing else. So I'd say these two are regulating one way or another the two um, USB ports. But from that, I know that I can get this 3.7 volt battery pack um, with a single power in and power out. Um, I can potentially get a lot of amperage. That would probably be two amps per cell. So 2468 somewhere around eight to 10 amps, right? And although it's physically kind of large when you compare it to um, a nice flat two amp lithium polymer battery pack like that one, uh, it is a way of getting at least a fair bit more power into a portable project using 18650s that are already dressed up. Now, if you were to buy 18650s like that, you can potentially get them for less than the $30. And if that board there was worth its weight, uh, I could use it as a charging circuit and use it as a power um, output, then that would have been ideal. And of course, I've got my little LCD there to tell me how things are actually going. That is what we've got for one of these Doshin 
USB backup power universal units. And yeah, I hope you found that useful. So I do want to use that in a Raspberry Pi portable. Um, there's a fair bit of weight there uh, and a bit of size. So that might be the bigger version of the Raspberry Pi portable. But um, yep, there's a quick look inside one of those USB battery banks off eBay. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.